you guys. OK, ladies and gentlemen, this is the economic case for Scottish independence. And I'm going to hand you straight over to Michelle Thompson and Ivan Mickey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try and not walk in front of the screen. First of all, I have to say it's fantastic to be here in uh, Glasgow. Uh, I grew up just outside Glasgow, so I always feel that I'm coming home. I, I live in Edinburgh now, I've lived there for quite a long time, but people often comment that, oh, I can hear the Glasgow in your voice, and that, I must admit that suits me fine, because it's a great city. Uh, I uh, am the Managing Director for Business for Scotland, and we'll tell you a bit more about that in the course of our presentation, and I'd also like to introduce you to my colleague, Ivan McKee. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, just give you a bit of background. Michelle and I are going to split this between us um, the, this evening. Um, my background is I work closely with, with Business for Scotland. I'm on the board, but um, I also run a number of other companies, manufacturing companies that I've built up over the last 10 years or so. And before that, I worked for different manufacturing companies um, as an employee. So I've, uh, I've done a full range of things um, in this country and uh, all over Europe and all over the world. So. Um, I've got uh, a bit of background in, um, in, in say, manufacturing and business. Yeah, my background, I spent many years, uh, I was a professional musician, a piano player, so I was having a tootle in the, the keyboard uh, earlier, and spent many years in uh, corporate life, various financial services companies, and subsequently became self-employed about five years ago and have been involved in a variety of things. So the benefit for that to me is that I've pretty much seen a, quite a, a broad range of sectors, if you like. I understand the chal challenges around culture and the arts, carried on playing the piano pretty actively throughout my uh, career, understand what it's like to be in a big corporate company and understand the struggles of running your own business, particularly in the current economic recession. And so both Ivan and myself are going to kind of bring our experiences to bear tonight. And, and one thing it's worth pointing out is that we are not politicians. We're not here to represent any political party. Business for Scotland is not funded by any political party, nor indeed is it funded by the Yes campaign. We're all independent kind of business people drawn from a wide variety of sectors and a wide variety of locations across Scotland. So it's a cooperative, and that's an important kind of principle for us because we all have a share in what we're saying, how we shape the, our business at this point in time. When we were pulling our kind of strands and thinking together about Business for Scotland, you might have imagined, and we had this challenge from some people, that people might be saying, ah, oh, well, you see, Business for Scotland, it's all about how you people who are making a lot of money and are just doing fine are going to get on great. And of course, actually, that's rubbish. Because there's some things I'd like to point out to you. We've got used to putting on a hat that says, this is what business is about. And if you listen to something like the, the BBC, and you'll frequently hear Ian McMillan from the CBI, for example, saying, ah, well, business says. Now, of course, he's using an example there. It's not what business says. It's what large corporates, often global organizations, think and say. We need to recognize in Scotland that 95% of our businesses are in small, medium enterprises, the SME sector. If you throw in the third sector and social enterprises, it actually goes up to more like 99%. And also within the SMEs, 92% uh, of our businesses have less than 10 employees. And Business for Scotland felt that it was important to recognize and to include the views of all these people. And that the example I often use is business is not some massive conglomerate. It's Jeannie running her hairdresser in Wisha in the high street and what she brings to the community. That, and we've lost sight of that importance of business as well. So when we were pulling this together, the sort of words that came out was around greener, fairer. We wanted to see a fairer society. And I think that's quite a reflection of what Business for Scotland's about. We started uh, about a year ago. We had our formal launch in May of last year. We are uh, well over 900 businesses are represented across a variety of geographical locations. We've been working on developing our vision and our mission, and we're aiming to provide a business perspective to this independence debate 
separate to political views that adds and reflects the views of ordinary SMEs in the community. And we want to go a stage further than that as well. It's not just playing back the latest soundbite, it's genuinely providing something that causes people to stop and think, a kind of think idea, if you like, around the business and economic facts that we bring to the table. Because it's very often sometimes difficult to find them in the traditional media. Uh, who don't, at this stage, I believe, necessarily delve into the detail. And again, Ivan will be doing more of that this evening. We're a limited company. We've got stakeholder members, working groups. We've got representation in Glasgow and Edinburgh. We're opening up in Dundee, in Inverness, in Stirling, in Perth, and so on. So we really want to get our geographical um, representation across Scotland. We'll also look at sector groups. So for example, we've got lots of people involved in property, commercial property, property management, and so on. That's already quite a strong sector. And believe it or not, lawyers as well, who you might imagine would have been quite resistant, but we're finding that's not actually the case at all. Right, I'm gonna hand you over to Ivan now to get on to the actual economics about it. Now again, I would stress here, the real power in this is that this is Ivan's views based on real data. This is not a kind of political spin. This is actually looking at what are the facts. And one of the things that we like to say about this is we can all have our own opinion, but we can't have our own facts. So tonight you're going to hear a lot of facts. Okay, here's Ivan. <laughs> 